Hey guys, Kito here, and today we are doing the quick hero guide for Viper Ning. We are not only talking about the hero space skill and ultimate, but about the two other skills and ultimates that can be unlocked when doing the full first two of a cultivation mission. Let's start. Viper Ning's base skill is called Yushan Enigma. It allows you to damage and push the enemy back with a purple force. You can also use this skill when the enemy is loading up a strike to cancel it. But be aware, if you're using it on the third strike of an attack combo, which is a loaded one, you still get damaged and your skill gets cancelled. That's because the load of your skill takes longer than the load of the third strike. Viper Link's second skill is called Yushan Enigma Lockdown. It allows you to create a purple force which damages the enemy and does not let them use their skill or ultimate for 8 seconds. The skill no longer allows you to hit through loaded strikes. Viper Link's third skill is called Yushan Enigma Enfeeble. It allows you to create a red force which damages the enemy and reduces their healing received for 15 seconds. This healing debuff is equivalent to approximately 30% of the normal effect. The skill also no longer allows you to hit through loaded strikes. Viper Ning's base ultimate is called Twilight Crimson. It allows you to create an eye over the duration of 5 seconds. Everybody who gets detected cannot grapple anymore. If you do not manage to break line of sight with the eye at the end of the 5 seconds, you get stunned for another 5 seconds. Viper Ning cannot attack while the eye is active. Viper Ning's second ultimate is called Twilight Crimson Seal. It allows you to create an eye over the duration of 5 seconds. Everybody who gets detected cannot grapple anymore, nor use their skills or ultimates. If you do not manage to break line of sight with the eye at the end of the 5 seconds, you get stunned for 2 seconds. Viper Ning cannot attack while the eye is active. Viper Ning's third ultimate is called Twilight Crimson Unchained. It allows you to create an eye over the duration of 5 seconds. Everybody who gets detected cannot grapple anymore, nor use their skills or ultimates. Viper Ning can freely move and attack while the eye is active. Before the video is already over again, let me give a recommendation of what to use in which game mode. This is all based on my opinion and experience, and not 100% must do. If you prefer different skills and ultimates or think they are better, then you're definitely allowed to use them. For her skill, I prefer her base form. Let me tell you why. The lockdown one is pretty situational and you have to use it at the correct timing because 8 seconds is pretty short. A lot of people spam their skills or ultimates, especially if they are losing. Now you have to guess the correct timing to use your skill to prevent them from using theirs. I tried it a couple of times and it's pretty hard because some people are just behaving randomly and especially then it's getting hard to guess the correct timing. Some even instantly spam their skills or ultimates right at the beginning of the fight and if you're not faster with yours, it does not do anything for you. The Enfeeble one is pretty unnecessary in my opinion. I never saw somebody, except maybe a bot, healing mid-fight and if they do so, they probably run away first. Just this action of running away and getting away safely needs more than 15 seconds most of the time, so the effect is already over. That's what happened to me in every game I tried to use this power so far. They ran away and if they got away safely, the effect was gone and they could heal normally. For her ultimate, I also prefer the base form. I do not like her ultimate anyway, because it is pretty easy to get away from the eye unless you are super much in the open. But both other versions are pretty weak compared to the base form in my opinion. Of course, they both do not allow you to use your grappling hooks, your skills or your ultimates, but only for the duration of 5 seconds. Even the normal skill denies you of that, except the grappling hook, for 8 seconds. So that is the reason why I would go for the base form to max out the stun. Especially in trios, you probably do not stun all three, but maybe two and definitely one who is not watching out for it. Finally, I can say I run both base forms on Viper Ning, in solos and trios. That worked out for the best so far for me. Again, this was just my opinion, feel free to share yours in the comments. All in all, thank you for watching my video and have a nice day. Come